Hello students and welcome to my channel. In this English session, we will be learning Standard 9th Unit 1, 1.5 Chapter The Necklace by Gidi Mupasa. We will be learning this chapter in two parts. Before we begin with the chapter, let's get introduced to the author of this chapter. Gidi Mupasa, 1850-1893 Henry René Albert Guy de Maupassant was a French writer, remembered as the master of the short stories. He wrote 300 stories, 6 novels, 3 travel books and a volume of verse. His first published story, Boldy Swift, is often considered to be his masterpiece. So let's start with the chapter The Necklace. The Necklace, this is a story of a girl named Mathilde. Mathilde was a pretty and a charming girl, born as if by an error of fate in a family of clerks. She had no means of becoming known, understood, loved or to be wedded to an aristocrat. And so, she let herself be married to a minor official at the Ministry of Education. Mathilde is the central character of the story, The Necklace. Mathilde was extraordinarily beautiful and charming girl. But by an error of fate, that is, by the stroke of misfortune, she was born into a family of clerk, that is, she was born into a middle class family. And due to this reason, she had no way to become famous, to be loved, or to get married to a person who belonged to an aristocrat family. Aristocrat, it means a person who belongs to an upper class. And due to this reason then, she let herself marry. That is, she made compromises in her life and she got married to a person who worked as a minor official at the Ministry of Education. She dressed plainly because she had never been able to afford anything better. She suffered endlessly feeling she was entitled to all the luxuries of life. She suffered because of her shabby, poorly furnished house. All these things that another woman of her class would not even have noticed tormented her and made her resentful. Now, as I told you that Mathilde was, she got married to a person who was just a minor official at the Ministry of Education. Due to this reason, she was not able to afford very expensive dresses and so she used to dress herself plainly because she was not able to afford anything better than this. She used to suffer endlessly because she used to feel that she deserved all the luxuries that is all the great comforts of her life because she was beautiful. She used to suffer, she used to feel bad and she used to torture herself because of a shabby. Shabby means a house which was in a very poor condition. Also the furniture was totally worn out because it was been used for many many years. Now all these things what Mathilde used to feel, the other women of a same class did not used to feel the same way how Mathilde used to think. They didn't, they didn't even notice whatever things what Mathilde had expected or she was she was she thought that she deserved in her life other women of her society or her class didn't even notice or thought about all these things now because she had high aims and she thought she deserves all the happiness and the great comforts of her life these things made her tormented tormented means she used to torture herself and due to this reason she used to feel displeased she dreamed of a grand palatial mansion with gray if the vast rooms and inviting smaller rooms perfumed for afternoon chats with her close friends she also had a desire that she should have a great palatial palatial means a house which resembles like a palace which which has a spacious rooms and it is splendid and also small inviting room she wanted to have where she can sit with her friends for the afternoon chats and not only this but the rooms must be totally filled with the fragrance of all the perfumes 
yet she had no dresses no jewels nothing and these were the only things she loved she wanted to charm to be envied to be sought after she had a rich friend a former schoolmate at the convent whom she avoided visiting because afterwards she would weep with regret despair and misery now because she was she was not able to afford anything expensive she was used she used to dress herself very plainly she did not had any of the jewels nor a single stone she had and these were the only thing what she loved she always wanted to have all these things in her life but she was not she did not get all these things or rather she was not able to afford all these things she wanted to look beautiful and she wanted that people should feel jealous of her and mathilde also wanted to be sought after sought after it means that she wanted that she should make an impression on the mind of a people when they meet her that is for example when we are in a society we we meet, we meet many good people these people make impression on a mind for some or the other reason even mathilde want to make impression on the mind of a people when they meet her they should feel impressed about her and always remember her she also had a rich former a friend a former schoolmate former schoolmate means both of a friend and she they used to attend the same school but mathilde used to avoid going to her place because her friend was rich and whenever mathilde used to go to her place mathilde used to feel regretted that means she used to feel sad she used to feel hopeless and she used to torture herself by feeling distress because she did not have all the things what her friends in had in her life and so mathilde avoided visiting to her friend one evening her husband came home with an air of triumph holding a large envelope in his hand look he said yes something for you she tore open the paper and drew out a card on which was printed the words the minister of education and madame george rompenou request the pleasure of monsieur and madame loisel's company at the ministry on the evening of monday january 18th so one day mathilde husband that is mr loisel he came home from the office and when he came from the office he was in a air of triumph that means as though he's got a victory or a success on something he was very happy he was holding a large envelope in his hand and he thought that when i'll show this envelope to my wife that is to mathilde she will be very pleased to see this he gave the envelope into her hand she tore open the paper and inside that card this is what was written it was a invitation from madame george rompenou and she has requested madame anne monsieur that is mr and mr loisel to attend a party or she it was a invitation card to both of them at the ministry on monday january 18th instead of being delighted as her husband has hoped she threw with invitation on the table resentfully and muttered what do you want me to do with that and what do you expect me to wear if i go he hadn't thought of that he stammered why the dress you go to the theater in it seems very nice to me so he had expected something you know when he will i will show the invitation card to her to my wife that is to mathilde she will be very happy she will be delighted but totally opposite happen of it instead of feeling happy she was very upset she said to her husband she was very resentful that means she was trying to show her anger or her displeasure and she muttered that means she started talking in a very low voice she said okay fine it is an invitation card but if i go to the party what do i wear what do you expect me to wear i don't have anything you know like a party wear to go for the to the ministry what do i wear he said now he didn't even had thought that his mathilde is going to react this way he was not prepared for this he stammered stammered means he started repeating the words and he said why the dress what you wear to the theater it's beautiful you look beautiful in that it seems to be very nice to me why don't you wear the same dress to the party to the ministry that day 
he stopped stunned distressed to see his wife crying he stuttered what's the matter let's see mathilde how much would a suitable dress cost she thought for a moment computing the cost and also wondering what amount she would ask or without an immediate refusal at last she answered hesitantly i don't know exactly but i think i could do with 400 francs he turned a little pale because he had been saving that exact amount to buy a gun for a hunting summer in the country near nanter with a few friends however he said very well i can give you 400 francs but try and get a really beautiful dress so when uh, she told to her husband mathilde told to mr loisel that i do not have a proper dress or expensive party wear to wear to the ministry on the said day for which they are going to go for the party she started crying and seeing his wife crying he stopped he was stunned that means he was not able to like react what should i do because this was not he was expecting to he stuttered that means he started repeating the words you know when you are too much upset or you are not prepared for something i do not know how to react to a situation you start involuntarily you start repeating the words right and so he said to the his wife like what's the matter let's sort out the problem he said now tell me how much he tried to you know make his wife very comfortable because she was crying and mr loisel being a very good husband he did not want to see that his wife was displeased so he tried to make her comfortable and he asked to her that okay he was ready to tell her to buy a beautiful dress to be worn for the party that day so he said to his wife how much would a suitable dress cost that means he was showing his willingness that his wife should buy a new dress to wear to the ministry so she thought for a moment now she did not know what exact amount should i tell to my, to my husband that how much a dress should cost she started computing that is she started calculating the cost and she like she wanted to tell a cost in such a way that if she tell some amount her husband should not refuse her without any immediate refusal that is an amount which her husband can easily afford and he can easily give it to her without doing any refusal then she answered hesitantly she said i do not know exactly what the cost of a dress must be she said but i will try to manage with 400 francs now hearing the cost of the dress or how much money she wanted to buy the dress it turned a pale pale means it started thinking because this was the same amount what he was saving for his own self he used to go with his few friends for on a hunt for hunting and he wanted to buy a gun for himself and this was the exact amount what he was saving to buy a gun for him so that he can go along with his friend for hunting and used to go to a country place that was a nanter however he 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 readily compromised for this and he said okay fine i will give you 400 francs but just try to see that you buy a beautiful dress so you can find a good quality of mr loisel that he has made a compromise he had sacrificed whatever amount he has saved for himself he has given to his wife so this shows that he was a very responsible husband and who wanted to make his wife feel comfortable and he gave her 400 rupees 400 francs so that she can buy a really beautiful dress for the party the day of the party drew near and madame loisel seemed re sad restless anxious though her dress was ready one evening her husband said to her what's the matter you have been acting strange this last 3 days she replied i am upset that i have no jewels not a single stone to wear i would rather not go to the party you could wear flowers he said they are very fashionable at the time of the year she was not convinced now as the day of the party drew very close very near madame loisel actually she was supposed to be happy because already she has purchased a beautiful dress for her but now as the day of the party drew near she was she had become very sad and restless anxious that means she was showing a feeling of worry though her dress was ready one day her her husband was observing all these things 
One day he said to Mathil, What's the matter? You have been acting strange these three days. And she told the reason why she is upset. She said that I have a dress. I have purchased a dress. But what do I wear for the to the ministry? I do not have jewels. I do not have any jewelry. I do not have a single stone. Single stone means some precious jewel. I do not have a single stone, she said. What do I wear to the party? She said it's better I do not go to the party. Because I have a dress. But what do I wear with my dress, she said. But her husband, he said, okay, fine. If you do not have a jewel, why don't you try to wear some flowers, he said. They are very fashionable now this time of the year. You try to wear those, you will look beautiful. But she was not convinced by whatever suggestion which were been given by her husband. She actually wanted to wear jewels, some stone, precious stone she wanted to wear. And this was a thing which she did not have. And that why she was very restless or she was very sad and anxious. The next day she went to her friend's house and told her of her distress. Madame Forestier went to her mirror wardrobe, took out a large box, brought it back, opened it and said to Madame Loisel, choose my friend. First Mathilde saw some bracelets, then a pearl necklace. She tried on the jewelry in the mirror. She kept asking, you have anything else? Now because she did not have the jewel to wear and she even did not want to like follow the suggestion which was given by her husband to wear the flowers. She was not convinced by that idea. But she really wanted to wear some precious jewelry for the to the ministry, to the party. So next day she went to her friend. Now as I told you she had a rich friend, a former school friend and she was Madame Forestier and who was very rich. So unwillingly the other day, next day, Mathil went to her friend's house and she told about the distress. That means her painful situation about her sorrow. When her friend Mathil told this, uh, her problem to Madame Forestier and she was a very good friend of her. She went to the mirror wardrobe. Wardrobe means a small, a large tall cupboard in which many clothes can be hung or many things can be stored. That is called as a wardrobe. She went there, she took a large box, she opened it and she started showing all the type of jewelry to her friend. And she said, you choose, you have so many choices now. Whatever you feel like, you choose, you can take it. Madhil started, she had lot and lot of choices now. She was very happy. She saw some bracelets, some pearl necklace and she was trying each thing into the mirror to see how beautiful she would look into the party. Then after some time, she kept on asking her, do you have anything else than this? That means she was expecting something. You know, she had a desire to have a particular type of a jewelry what she would wear for the party. But because she was not getting the same thing what she wanted to have, she started asking to her friend, do you have anything else than this? Why? Yes, but I don't know what you like. Suddenly, she discovered in a black satin box a superb diamond necklace and her heart began to beat with uncontrolled desire. Her hands trembled as she took it. She fastened it around her neck and stood lost in ecstasy as she looked at herself. Then she asked anxiously, hesitating, Would you lend me this, just this? Why, yes, of course. She threw her arms around her friend's neck rapturously, then fled with the treasure. Now she, she was asking to her friend, do you have more any jewel than this? And suddenly, when she was looking around into the jewelry and all the boxes and all, she discovered, she found a black satin box. And in that box, there was a superb diamond necklace. And when she saw the necklace, her heart began to beat. Heart began to beat with uncontrolled desire. Yes, this was the thing what she wanted to have. This is what her imagination was to wear at a party to the ministry. And she, when she saw this, her heart began to beat with uncontrolled desire. Means she was extremely happy to see this. She took the necklace into her hand. Her hand started trembling. And she took the necklace and she fastened it. Fastened means she put her around the neck and attached it. She locked it and stood lost in ecstasy. That means she was 
overjoyed to see that necklace and she looked herself into the mirror and then with a little hesitant and anxiously means she was feeling as though my friend will really give me this necklace to wear to the party so with a hesitatingly she asked to her friend can you give me this necklace to wear just this her friend she said yes of course why you can take it no problem she said she was so happy she threw her arm around her friend friend's neck and rapturously with a great joy she took the necklace and she fled with the treasure that means she went away with the treasure the day of the party arrived madam loisel was a success she was prettier than all other women elegant gracious smiling and full of joy she danced wildly with passion forgetting everything in the triumph of her beauty and success floating in a cloud of happiness so the day of the party arrived now madam loisel was very happy because she had a beautiful dress she had a jewel to wear which she had she had borrowed or she has taken from her friend so she was very happy so madam loisel was a success to the party because she was prettier than any other woman into that party she was looking elegant that means she was looking very graceful stylish in the appearance and her manner she was looking pleasant with a smiling she was smiling and she was full of joy she started dancing wildly forgetting about all her worries everything and she was as though she has got a victory over her beauty and as though she has got a success and she was floating in the cloud of happiness so her day was made she wanted to she wanted that she should look the most beautiful woman in the whole party and the same thing was she see same thing had happened and because of this she thought that she has got a victory and she was died she was dancing wildly with a passion matilda and her husband left at about 4 o'clock in the morning when there was street finally in the street they could not find a cab they walked down towards the seine till they found one they were dropped off at the door in the rue des martyrs and sadly it was all over for her in front of the mirror she took a last look at herself in all her glory but suddenly she uttered a cry she no longer had a necklace around her neck what is the matter asked her husband she turned towards him panic stricken i i have i have i have no longer have madam forestier's necklace he stood up distraught what how that's impossible now after a great victory into the party mathil was overjoyed with the happiness she danced wildly with all the passion and by the time the party ended up it was around 4 o'clock and then she that is mathil and her husband they left about 4 o'clock in the morning and when they were finally came to a street they were not able to find a cab because it was the a time was there that they would not get any cab so they came walking down towards the road that is the name of the place was sen they came there to that place and till they came there then they found a cab they took a cab from there then they were drop off at the door in rue des martyrs rue des martyrs that was the area or the locality where they used to stay now here starts the turning point into the life of mr and mrs loisel that is monsieur and madame loisel's life she went home she was all happy also and also she was tired but also there was happiness of having a victory she went into her room she stood in front of a mirror just to see have a final look as how she was looking into the party in all her glory but suddenly she noticed she suddenly uttered a cry she shouted loudly she had no longer the necklace around her neck the necklace was not there around her neck the same necklace what she had borrowed from her friend the necklace was no more around her neck her husband when she she shouted so loudly her husband came he said what's the matter mr loisel asked her she turned mr loisel immediately he went when he heard the he heard the cry of mathil he went 
and he asked to her what happened was the matter when her husband asked this, she turned to him to was in panic stricken that means she was suddenly in a feeling of fear she said to him i do not have no longer have madam forestier's necklace he stood distraught distraught means he was totally in a worried and a disturbed state of mind he started asking her the question what how that's not possible that means he had many questions into the mind that whatever necklace she was wearing to the party what happened to the necklace and how it is not there around her neck so now this is the turning point of our story now so in the next part we will study what life mr and mrs loisel faced after the incidents when they found that the necklace which madam loisel that is matil had worn to the party it was not there around her neck so student this is the end of the first part of the chapter the necklace so let us learn more about what happens into the life of this mr and mrs loisel into the second part of our session thank you students